story started when Mizuki Ando finds that she has been forgetting her name. Then one day, Mizuki sees an article in the local newsletter about a new counseling center with reasonable prices. With the help of a counselor there, she uncovers a memory of having been asked to hold on to the name tag of a beautiful and intelligent girl at the boarding school she attended as a child. That girl then committed suicide. No one ever knew why. The memory doesn't explain the name forgetting, but it sits there suggestively. After a few more sessions, the counselor tells Mizuki that she knows definitely why Mizuki has been forgetting her name and that Mizuki won't be forgetting it anymore. When Mizuki returns the next week, the counselor introduces her to a monkey. The monkey stole Mizuki's name, which is why she wasn't able to find it. He explains that the stealing is just a thing he feels compelled to do and that he knows he shouldn't do it, but sometimes good things come from his stealing names. He thinks that if he had stolen the other girl's name earlier, the girl from the boarding school, Yuko, she might not have committed suicide. Often, evil things stick to a person's name. So in taking names, he also takes away those evil things. What evil things was stuck to Mizuki's name? After some mild coercion, the monkey tells Mizuki, her mother never loved her. Her sister didn't love her either. He doesn't know why, but they didn't. That was why they sent her away to boarding school. The lack of love is still affecting her. It is keeping her from fully loving the nice man to whom she is peacefully but unpassionately married. I'm going to talk about the story, The Shinagawa Monkey, which is written by the Japanese writer Haruki Murakami. First, let us know the background of the story. Haruki Murakami's Shinagawa Monkey is a perfect example of his writing style because most of his writing style is about consciousness. Um, a lot of people are confused about this story because the plot is very unusual. So we're going to talk about the, um, the frequently asked questions so that you'll be able to know about the story more and better. So first, um, let us describe Mizuki, which is the uh, main character of the story. In terms of being a wife, we can describe Mizuki as a modern Japanese wife since she has a work in a car company. Unlike to the traditional Japanese wife wherein only the household chores are their responsibility. In her work, she is indifferent. She doesn't care if she has a capability of having a promotion and excellent in sales stopping. If we can say that she is a modern Japanese wife, we can also say that she is a modern woman since in Japan, women are mostly dependent to their husband. Unlike Mizuki, she is an independent woman. Who you want is the foil character of Mizuki. Foil character means the counter character of the other character. Yuko is the other character of Mizuki as she is known as the perfect girl in their school, while Mizuki is the average girl. Though Ms. Yuko is known as the perfect girl, she has these insecurities to Mizuki. The presentation of the name tag in the story is the name tag represents the identification of the person. What is the significance of the talking mountain to Mizuki? The talking mountain is the one who is called the identification of Mizuki. And because of that, Mizuki is started to forget her name. And that's the story started. Since the Shinagawa mountain is a surrealist story, there are various elements that can be seen in the story. The first one is the juxtaposition. We all know that juxtaposition is the act of showing side by side. At the first part of the story, the Shinagawa monkey and Mizuki has no particular relation to each other. But at the latter part, it is visible that there is a um, great relationship between each other. The second one is the ad events in the story. The first ad event in the story is first, of course, the Shinagawa monkey, which is talking. Um, and the second one is the um, unexplained possession of the Shinagawa monkey with Yuko's main tag. The 
second element is the other bands in the story. The first other band in the story is of course the top monkey. The second one is that the monkeys, the Shinagawa monkey is obsessed with Yuko's name tag, which led him to stealing um, Mizuki's name tag instead. The third one is that everybody is aware that the talking monkey is um, something that is common, while Mizuki is the only one that found it here. 